Hey YouTubers, welcome back to another episode here on ESG and Net of MLB Road to the Show with Theo Bonds here, and this is episode 19, and welcome back to you guys. This In this episode, we're going to play against the Round Rock Express, uh, who we actually played against before uh, in a series uh, in, a, in a past episode. Uh, this time we're playing at home against them, and uh, the Express are actually are a AAA affiliate of the uh, Texas Rangers, so uh, we'll play against them in a four-game series uh, at home here on this episode, and we're going to go ahead and get to the, uh, uh, well, first game we lost, there you see, uh, Bonds not playing that game, so we'll go to the second game, there you see our record, uh, we're I mean, we are teetering uh, 500 right there. You see, 52 and 51 uh, for the season home record, uh, 30 of uh, 26, uh, road record 22 and 25. So, uh, the show's and of course, they're expressing 70 and 33. So, air. very impressive the night, the uh, with their record. Uh, this is the second game of a four-game series the against the uh, Express. As you see, uh, last episode we played against Oklahoma City, and we split the series two games apiece. So we'll see what we can do in this episode. So bottom of the first, uh, no outs, runner on first and second. We'll see what Theo can do at this at bat. And there you see a chopper going towards the third baseman and getting the easy. Oh, nope. Uh, wasn't a double play at that time. So we'll go ahead and go to the bottom of the second. And they actually uh, almost bat, almost around, uh, and getting a score of seven nothing. There you see a nice routine play right there, uh, getting Bonds out at first. So bottom of the fourth, eight three, no outs, two one pitch, and there you see Bonds flies it towards the right fielder, and it's an easy out right there. So Bonds not doing too well at the plate in this game, and you see bottom of the sixth with two outs, they decide you know what we're not going to pitch to him because. We know what he can do. So, we'll go ahead and go to the bottom of the ninth or bottom of the eighth here with the runner at second. The score being five, and, uh, five to nine, two outs, and right there, two-two pitch, a nasty pitch inside right there to get the out. So, strikeout on no Bonds that time. No so you see uh, 11 hits and piece for both teams. One error uh, committed on by uh, the Express there. So. And we're going to go ahead and get to show you a simulation of the game, of how the game ended, and we win five to nine. The final score. Uh, Bonds, uh, 0 for four with a strikeout, uh, but he did uh, get guess a run, in, uh, or he did get a run when he was on on the bases there. Uh, no runs dri driven in, but. Uh, there you see his uh, line score right there, uh, E5, um, error committed by the um, third baseman. Uh, and there you see 6-3 uh, six, six, double play, a fly out, and uh, so on and so forth. So uh, there you see, uh, we're going to show his uh, season stats, 13 home runs, 27 RBIs, batting average of 360 at this point in the season. I know you see his points. Uh, his, uh, we're going to use those points here very soon uh, to work on his uh, uh, speed and uh, his durability. Durability. Oh, uh, couldn't get that out. <laughs> uh, so you see 53 and 51 for the season. Uh, Round Rock uh, 70 and 34 for the season. There you see the statistical stats. If you guys want to take a look at those, you guys can just pause the video and look at it. Um, you guys uh, leave a like or a uh, comment on the video here. Uh, let's go ahead and get to the next third game. Bottom of the first, and then you see a two uh, two out uh, two outs there. Uh, that four seam fastball uh, with the runners on first and second, and we're going to go ahead and uh, let's see this pitch here. Uh, pop up there, and it's the in-fly rules in effect, so that means it's an automatic out. Runners can advance them to the next bases if they want to, but don't. Uh, so you see Bonds pops out there, and I think I meant to edit that out of that 
at bat well, four. Any time you get an uh, RBI guy to the, the plate with less stri than two uh, strike outs, he does that. This pop out he here is not in this video, so That's my kind of bad on the editing there. So let's go ahead and get to the bottom of the third. Uh, three, we are up by three. Runner on first. 0-1 pitch here, and Bond slaps it, but doesn't is unable to slap it past the shortstop, and ends up getting into a double play. So bottom of the fifth, uh, runner on second. We're up by three, and then you see a nice line drive hugging the first base line there, and getting the run in. So now make it 5-1 for the Redbirds. And you see him stretching it out, thinking, man, I could have got two, but got to work on that speed. So bottom of the seventh, uh, score for you in 5-2, two, two outs. Bonds hits it, and that ball is gone. That ball is long gone. So kiss that sucker goodbye. Bonds hits his 14th home run of the season. The score being now going to be 6-2. to two. There you see Bonds trotting the bases, and the catcher's thinking, we should have, uh, yeah, we should have uh, pissed around him at that time. So you see here the fans getting uh, very happy and very excited about Bonds hitting that ball out of the park. Let's super hit that replay machine. And look at that. That is gone. It definitely got the sweet spot and more on that bat. And that ball is long gone. I can't even, oh, look at it. There it is. I was going to say, I couldn't even find it. There you see. Home run. For the Redbirds. So we get to a final score of 6 to 2. And there you see Bonds 2 for 4, one home run, two RBIs, and a run for the day. Coach is very happy with him. So a good job of collectively uh, unlike the 0 for 4 that he one, had in the last series. So you see Bonds again is named Player the of the Game right here. Uh, He's in our this top uh, player of the game. game 3 of uh, this yeah, four game series against. That big home Express run there. Really I love uh, that. Just that swing. I mean, just just a nice swing there. Uh, driving that ball, just putting a charge on that ball and, just, and uh, kissing it goodbye. I mean, I can see him. Can you imagine him being in St. Louis and and you know aiming for the for the for the gateway to, gateway to arch? I mean, that'd be awesome. <laughs> uh, okay, in my own little world, I guess that'd be awesome. But. Um, you know, uh, we'll see what he can. We'll see if they bring him up here uh, soon. We still got plenty of time before the end of the season. But you see his uh, stat performance right there. Home run there in the seventh. Uh, you know, having a pretty, pretty nice day. So uh, let's go ahead. 14 home runs, 27 RBIs, batting average of 367 for this season. So there you see, it's almost two days away from his. Uh, Filling all his goals, he has two for four of those, and he has six days before his next training period. So we'll get to uh, um, he'll get to that here, and so we'll go ahead and get to game four. And uh, there you see the starting lineup for both teams. He's there you see Bonds batting third and playing his uh, position at first. Uh, I think a couple to about two or three episodes before this, he actually played a catcher. Uh, and I told you guys in the episode that he had a catcher since he was in high school. Uh, he got thrown in there. That was an experience of playing catcher uh, behind the plate on this game. It was kind of interesting and uh, not really fun. <laughs> Couldn't really do too much. Um, but let's go ahead and get to this next fourth game. Here you see you score a record 54 and 51. So bottom of the first, two outs, 0-2 pitch. We're down by three. Bonds gets a pitch and he drives it and, not, and this time the third baseman is able to get it and get the easy out there on their routine play for the final out of the inning. So bottom of the third, runners on first and second, down by one run, four to three, nobody out. And then you see a nice slap between this first baseman and second baseman there. And uh, bases are now loaded. So now has uh, we, have another, we have a chance to score. So we actually do end up in the bottom of the fourth, tied 6-6, six, six, two outs. Bonds, there you see, he carries that ball right towards those people at the at the, at the roller coaster there. Hopefully no one got hit, and there's a home run. Bonds, 15th home run of the season. Again, um, I'm pretty sure that pitcher's probably thinking, you know, uh, we really need to walk him. <laughs> yeah, he's already hit. What two home runs out of this game, out of this series? 
And uh, we already know what he can do. I'm sure there's been talk about him um, through the local media and the press and everything. Uh, yeah, uh, we might have to uh, might have to walk him at his next at bat. There you see a nice ball driven opposite field there. And I've realized that uh, a lot of his home runs have been opposite field. They have not been uh, pulled or anything. So uh, that's something that the Cardinals would uh, would definitely like. So bottom of the six, two outs, score eight, six. Then you see a nice hit uh, in the deep uh, left center. And then Bonds is going for two, and he gets it. Standing a standing two bagger right there for Bonds right there. Uh, an unusual. Thing to see Bonds we'll go a for a two bagger, uh, but he had definitely hustled on that one as a big of a guy he is, is trying to hustle there. Uh, I know from my own experience it's not fun. <laughs> so you see, he gets the ball, yeah, the back of the field. So yeah, that definitely would be a uh, two bagger on that play. So bottom of the ninth, tied eight eight, one out, and the pitch, and Bonds slaps it, and it is caught. By the first baseman, what a catch by the, uh, not first baseman, by the right fielder. Uh, been more impressive with the right, or the first baseman caught that, but the left field, or right fielder catches alley, that and more, gets the out. Let's see the replay. Instead, it finds the replay. Oh my goodness, if he would have, it came them, down just a little sooner, I don't think there would have been a play on that. I think it would have been either trapped or the first baseman would have over pursued it. But there you see, three for five, uh, or double. And one home run and one RBI for uh, there. So Bonds gets the uh, gets the good pat on the back from the coach. Thank him a good job, and they get.